So now we're going to look at division of matrices. And this is an interesting topic um, because in list terms, we actually can't um, divide matrices. Okay, it's, it's underdefined when we go to divide them. So we have to do something different. And what we end up doing is we end up doing um, a multiplication by the inverse of the matrix. We've kind of seen that idea before where, um, you know, in complex uh, complex numbers when we went to divide, we end up actually multiplying by a complex conjugate. A similar idea occurs here. Um, and, you know, we've seen it even at the early days with fractions. You don't actually divide fractions. You end up um, flipping the fraction and multiplying. So it's kind of a similar idea. And what we do is if we want to divide a matrix A and we want to divide it by B, um, so what you're ultimately saying is, a divided by B. Well, what other way can we write that? Well, they can also say A is being multiplied by 1 over B, which ultimately implies A is being multiplied by B to the power of minus 1. And this is what's known as the inverse. Okay, so that's ultimately how we um, or divide uh, matrices. We use this inverse and we've seen how to develop um, the inverse for a 2x2 two two matrix, the use of the determinant that we covered in other videos. Um, and just a couple of other things, um, other notes on division. If we have a case where the situation arrives where we have A multiplied by B and if the answer occurs to be I, well then that will imply B is the inverse of A because we know that A times A inverse equals I. Okay, so that's one rule just to note. Another rule we get is if we have the scenario whereby um, we get remember the other scenarios we've seen is that if we can't get um, an inverse or if we can't ultimately if we get the determinant oh, just skip the head there apologies um, if we end up getting the determinant of a or b equal to zero well then that imply no inverse exists um, sorry keep skipping ahead there it'll imply no inverse exists um, and if there's no inverse exists well then that ultimately implies that we can't divide because we know in general terms well we can't um, we can't divide by zero okay can't divide by zero, um, so we can't divide, and ultimately it means one of the matrix, whichever one, um, the determinant equals zero, A or B is going to be a singular, singular matrix. So matrix that is singular, its determinant equals singular matrix determinant equals zero. Okay, so there are just a couple of things to note that when we're doing division, we're actually doing a multiplication by an inverse, which we've seen up here. Um, if we get a case where two of them multiply together equals I, the identity matrix, well then we can say that B is the inverse of A. And if we get a case where any of the determinants equals zero, we have a singular matrix, um, and we ultimately we can't divide because no inverse exists and um, you know we can't divide by zero okay so that's how division works determinants are very important and um, knowing how to set up the inverse is very important um, and ultimately we're multiplying by the inverse we're not dividing